Hello YouTube, this is the Trail Ninja. Today we're going to be reviewing the Hero 6 Black from GoPro. Uh, this camera was released uh, in October 2017. Uh, it's now Halloween 2017, so it's a few weeks. It's been a few weeks uh, since it's been released. The main focus of this video is going to be doing a video comparison of the Hero 6 Black to the Hero 5 Black, which is right here. And also, for reference, the camera I was using before I got the Hero 5 Black was the Hero 3 Plus Silver. It's going to be like my baseline uh, camera here. And we're going to do some comparison. Uh, all the comparisons are going to be done at 1080p, 60 frames a second, uh, as wide as the angle the lens will go. So this will be wide, and these two will be super view. And, uh, of course... This has no stabilization whatsoever, so there's no, nothing to turn on. It just this camera does not have it, that feature. The Hero 5 Black we will do non-stabilized and also stabilized, and the Hero 6 Black we will do with stabilization turned on. So you can get a a feel of the image quality and how well the stabilization works with the Hero 6 Black compared to the Hero 5 Black, and how the stabilization is improved over over GoPros that do not have it at all, like the Hero 3 Plus Silver. I will show you uh, each video by itself. And then I will do a four-way so you can see them all at the same time so you can kind of get a, a a picture in case you're wanting to buy the Hero 6 Black. All right, I'm going to start the uh, test, starting out with the Hero 3 Plus Silver. Then I'll go to the Hero 5 Black non-stabilized, Hero 5 Black stabilized, and then finally the Hero 6 Black stabilized. And then we will do the uh, four-way four split screen with all the cameras at the same time. And then I'll come back with my uh, final thoughts on the camera. Hero 3 Plus Silver has no image stabilization whatsoever. All right, Hero 5 Black test, no stabilization. Here we go.
Hero 6 black, image stabilization turned on. All right, welcome back everybody. As you have seen in the comparison tests that the image stabilization, which is electronic on the Hero 6 Black and is also electronic on the Hero 5 Black, does a significantly better job at stabilizing the video than when it is turned off on the 5 Black and, and also a lot better than it is on the Hero 3 Plus Silver, which does not have any stabilization whatsoever. Uh, I mainly bought the 5 Black last year because of the stabilization because I use the chesty mount a lot and it tends to be really shaky. So I definitely wanted the stabilization. And uh, I'm pretty impressed with the Hero 5 Black. It's The video it produces is watchable. I mean there is some shakiness which really can't be avoided. I mean you're out there mountain biking over roots, rocks and everything else you're going to have some shakiness in the video. But this keeps it from really being crazy. As you see in the 3 Plus Silver, it's like totally whack. So, the Hero 6 Black does a little bit, you know, it is a small, it's noticeable, but I'm not sure if it's a significant improvement. I don't, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm still on the rocks on this one. Uh, however, you do find that the image is more saturated on the Hero 6 Black versus the Hero 5 Black. Some people may like that, some people may not. Um, I do not use Protune because Protune takes up a lot more card space and eats up a lot more battery. And, I and for all day mountain bike rides and stuff, I need the card space so I don't shoot with Protune on. Plus, I don't like to jack with post-processing if you want cinema quality video you know get out of the GoPro then you would want to use ProTune so you can adjust the colors manually in post uh, if that's your thing use it but me personally I just like to shoot, shoot the video slap it in the editor 
compile it and put it on YouTube. So I don't use Pro Tune. So these images are captured with the GoPro native, uh, how it shoots out of the box. Now, the question is, should you buy the Hero 5 Black or the Hero 6 Black? The Hero 5 Black is $399. The Hero 6 Black is $499. So the small improvement in stabilization and the richer colors. Um, and also being able to have stabilized image stabilization on 4K. That is going to be your main advantages of buying the Hero 6 Black. If neither of those any of those are not really your forte then save the hundred dollars and go for the hero 5 black again at 1080p the stabilization works pretty good with the hero 5 black there's nothing wrong with this camera it's an excellent camera i've used it again I mean, ever since for, for a year and I, I love the camera um i bought the hero 6 black because i want a little bit better stabilization i want as much stabilization i can on the uh, chassis mount you may ask me why I don't use a gimbal. It's I just find them too cumbersome. This more crap you got to wear on your chest, more crap you got to carry batteries batteries for, and more stuff you got to change batteries for while you're riding. And with you having about five cameras, it's I have enough batteries to have to change on rides without having to add a gimbal to the mix. And to be honest with you, the again the electronic image stabilization video is watchable, so. I personally don't see the need to buy a gimbal. I know some of the more popular YouTubers like BKXC, Single Track Sampler, and Seth Spikex, they use gimbals. I think they also use Hero 4 Blacks, which are not stabilized cameras at all. So they would have to have the gimbal if they're going to use a Hero 4 Black or older uh, GoPro to get stabilized footage. If they went with a Hero 5 Black or Hero 6 Black and turned stabilization on, and they may probably still want to use the gimbal because they want as smooth a uh, video as possible. Um, I will address the gimbal in another video. Where, you know, the pros and cons of it. I don't want to ruin this video. I don't want to get off topic on this video. But anyways, so if you're wanting to buy the Hero 5 or Hero 6 Black, the main key is, do you shoot 4K? If you shoot 4K, the Hero 6 Black is your puppy. If you shoot 1080p, and on a budget, Hero 5 Black is your puppy. So, that's kind of like the general, should I buy this or should I buy that? The one caution I had with getting the Hero 6 Black was that this is the first uh, generation of processor that GoPro has decided to put in, you know, to produce themselves. The GP1. In the Hero 5 Black and Hero 3 Plus Silver and all the other Heroes that um, GoPro has made, they've used a another company's processor. It's more mature technology, so you're less likely to have issues with bugs with the processor. Uh, whenever a company gets into the processor business, like GoPro just did with the GP1, uh, it's not mature technology, obviously. So we do not know if how buggy the processor is going to be. On paper, it's supposed to be awesome. But in real world, will we see it, it translate into real world application? Last year, when GoPro released the drone, uh, the Karma drone for the first time, they had to recall it because it had problems. I mean, major bugs like falling out of the sky bugs. So that was their first entry into the uh, drone market, and it didn't go as well as they uh, said on paper. This is a caution. This is one of the areas I'm concerned about with the GP1 processor in this uh, GoPro. After a month or two, are they going to have to recall the cameras because they find bugs that they didn't find in testing? Because we know nowadays that companies do not test their products worth a crap. It's it's honest. They do some they do a here there testing, and they use the public as their test bed because it's free. Which I don't agree with that practice, but that's the way it is nowadays. So, I would I'm hoping that the GP1 is a good processor. We'll see how it goes in the next couple months. I was kind of hesitant about buying this camera because of that, but I went ahead and took the plunge anyways. Generally, my thesis is wait about a month or two to see if the how other people are having with the camera. 
Um, this camera is on version 1.00 of the firmware. I have not upgraded to 1.51 because I heard there's bugs with the 1.51 firmware, so I decided not to upgrade it. And we'll wait till the next firmware comes out and give it about a month to see if anybody reports any issues with it before I upgrade the firmware. I've never had any issues with upgrading firmware on any of the GoPros I've had, but I'm playing it safe and sorry, especially on this camera right here with the brand new technology and everything. Um, anyways, I hope you found this uh, video helpful in deciding whether you wanted to purchase the Hero 6 Black or if you want to go with the Hero 5 Black. So, uh, again, please subscribe to my and, and uh, like my channel. Follow my YouTube channel. I also have a Facebook page called The Trail Ninja. Please like and follow that for updates. I will post more mountain bike videos and mountain biking related stuff videos. Uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, please help me make my channel grow so I can do my best to help the community uh, with more helpful content and mountain bike stuff. So, Alright, God bless and thanks for watching.